Hello, I'm Matt from Tooth and Nail Armory, and today we're going to be installing the 14 round, well actually it's the 9 round extension to make a 14 round mag on the XTR 15 shotgun, which is the shotgun right here. This is one that we've done a little bit of work for for a customer. Uh, it's got an overall 18 inch barrel, but uh, new shotgun from UTAS. Uh, called the XTR 12. So here is how to install the uh, nine round extension to the factory magazine. All right, first of all, if you start off with the factory magazine, uh, you need to remove the base plate, push this little tab down here, and slide the base plate back. Careful, there's some spring pressure in there, so you want to make sure and capture that. Uh, take that apart. Take the follower out. Um, and the main thing we're going to do is round over these sharp edges on the top because as it passes through the transition, uh, these are very sharp and it will gouge and bind up. And one thing to keep in mind, this mag seems to be pretty good, but sometimes you'll get them where the follower is pretty tight right down here at the bottom. Uh, if that's the case, it's a good idea to slightly spread that just so the follower passes through easily as you can see this one does here. We made a little tool that we use here in the shop, uh, basically mimicking the a little bit larger than the diameter of a 12 gauge round. This one is uh, 0.84 in diameter. A uh, deep well socket also will work if you can find one about the right diameter. But you can push that in there uh, to slightly widen that magazine and get the following to slide in and out easily. Alright, so I won't go ahead. I've got one that's already done to show you. We've taken the sharp edges off of these corners here. And you can see how that works there. I'll kind of demonstrate that a little bit later, how that can gouge and uh, cause a binding problem. Uh, here's the magazine extension. It's a, a, a 3D printed piece that we have. The, the uh, follower will come all the way down in here. And as you can, as you can see here, uh, it can bind up with the shell stack and the spring pressure and uh, cause it to bite in there and, and uh, cause feeding problems. So round that off like this one is and you can see it passes up and down easily through the, through the stack. Um, so basically you will set your extension down. It's always a good idea to check all these surfaces to make sure there's not any uh, rough spots left over from the manufacturing process. So this surface uh, down here where the magazine or the follower rides and then also this little channel where their last round bolt catch uh, activator runs in there. So double check those. Make sure there's not any rough surfaces in there. Uh, also you check in here just uh, use some 120 grit sandpaper or something to take off any rough edges that you might find there. So you can lay your magazine extension down. Uh, this lip will fit right down in there. Um, like I said, you'll want to double check that it passes smoothly into and out of the, the uh, magazine. Uh, once again, take note of that sharp edge because when the springs and the shell stack is in here, it causes this follower to move back and forth slightly and those sharp edges will gouge in. Uh, so double check that, make sure you get a good rounded um, surface on these sharp edges. Alright, so let's go ahead and put one of these together. I will go ahead and use my follower that um, did a little modification on taking those sharp edges off. Slide that in. Uh, it will come with the spring. When you install the spring, make sure the longest portion is towards the front, which will cock the shells towards the top. This is kind of the tricky part sometimes, is getting all of this in here without 
uh, having parts fly apart. You can use a little shim underneath the front edge to keep that magazine up in place. We've already got the screws installed in this one, but it will come with those. Uh, that is Just like that. One thing to keep in mind, uh, do not use a power driver when you're installing these screws. I mean, you can run them down a little bit uh, close, but do not use a power driver to tighten them because it is very easy to over tighten and uh, either strip out the threads on this side or punch the screw clear through the other side. So uh, we'll go ahead and install these screws, tighten them all down and come back. I don't figure you probably want to see me tighten up 13 screws on video. So we'll be back shortly. All right, we've got it all screwed together and ready to go. We'll go ahead and uh, load up a few rounds and see what uh, happens here. We generally recommend the uh, Winchester double A's or any good ammo with a slick hole. As you can see, these are slick, uh, feeds a lot better than one with a ribbed hole. Also make sure you have a, a good crimp on the end. Some are actually flared out on the end. That doesn't feed very well in a mag fed shotgun. Uh, generally the way I load them, use one finger to push down, put another shell in. We also have this little uh, mag loader for people that are have a little harder time, which works similar to a pistol loader where you can load rounds like that. One thing to keep in mind when you're loading a magazine fed shotgun is not to get what we call rim lock, which would be when you're putting the shells in, the rim of the top shell goes over the back. Uh, that you can do that if you're not careful, especially if you push down too far on the front It will cock this shell forward and allow this one to jump over uh, which will Stop your uh, Shooting fun and you'll have to clear that problem. So make sure and watch That you get the shells stacked like this and don't get what we call the rim lock over the back like that So we'll go ahead and finish loading this up and Go from there. Uh, sometimes there will be a slight uh, stiff portion as the follower and shell stack passes through the upper magazine into the lower one. That's kind of normal. If it's if it is uh, not easily overcome, you probably need to take your magazine back apart and round off the sharp edges a little bit more on your follower. But. This is the way I generally like to load magazines, uh, anywhere from 10 rounds up to, we have a 28 round magazine that we use on the uh, MKA 1919, so it works pretty good that way. So there's a full stack of 14, and we'll go out and try this out. Alright, we're going to try it out and see how it works. It doesn't lock back, but it doesn't always on these. There is a slight modification you can do on the follower to get this to come up a little bit higher to get it to lock back a little bit more reliably. But there's 14 rounds of the UTS 15 Tooth and Nail Armory magazine extension. 